I really don't want to fall again. After experiencing it once, I don't think I want to experience it again. But as long as I'm smart, it shouldn't happen again. Right, little guy? Yeah, who's a good guy? Who's a good little guy? Ow! Not you, apparently. Oh, God. Oh, I did nearly fall there. Ow. Oh, you fucker, no! Oh, I almost saved myself. Oh, well, I tried. Damn it! Ugh. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Metroid Prime Hunters. This is your host, MJ, 4106. And now we're looking for the last key, which is basically the last artifact, in order for us to get to the next boss. And now I have to rem remember where it is. Because I don't think I do remember. But ow! As long as I look vigilantly, I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Eventually I should find it. It's gotta be somewhere in the next few rooms, right? That makes sense, but... Well, we'll explore and find out. Which, now that I'm thinking about trying to not die, I realize I forgot to mention something. You know how with the... Oh, wait, look at that. I think I found it. Yeah, it's right there. Sweet. Well, that was simple enough. And, well... Looks like I'm fighting something. And there's also lore in here. I'm looking to see if there would be more lore somewhere. Gorea, huh. Our defenses were useless against Gorea as it swept through our empire in orgy of annihilation. Oh my. Olympic soldiers were powerless before Gorea's onslaught. Oh my. Gorea is capable of changing its shape and uses a wide variety of lethal weaponry. <laughs> okay, I get it. I guess. Jeez, what is this Gorea thing? We need to deployed our deadliest weapons to defeat the beast. To our horror, every weapon was somehow used against us by Gorea. Ooh. Interesting. So yeah, here's a fun key. They make you have to scan the lore in order to obtain this one. Somewhat of a dick move, but... Eh. You should play scanning anyway. They basically try to make it so you have to at least know of what they're up against before you can go forward. This Gorea figure. Oh, Greater Ithrak, finally. Yep, it has more, uh... You actually gotta shoot this one on the back. So you gotta let it charge and then obliterate its backside. Yep, Greater Ithrak is a bit more of an annoying dick. Holy shoot in the back. Oh my god, your aim is too good. How? There we go. Yeah, greater Ithrak. There you go. Good thing I scanned you. <laughs> oh, I was close. Oh, I do not like that jump. Oh well, I don't have a choice. Now, to get back to what I was trying to talk to you before the whole artifact came in, I should mention it again. I remembered something. Basically, you're wondering why the hunters are still going around on all the planets? Well, let me tell you something. So, it looks like the end game, there might be something with this Gorea figure, I guess. Either way, we're probably going to need all the Octoliths on hand in order to be able to access them. Note that I say on hand we'll need them. Yeah, that's the thing. If you die when fighting a hunter, they'll steal one of your octoliths. So yeah, you may be able to beat all the bosses and collect all the octoliths, basically, but if you don't have all of them on your person, you can't get to the last area until you do. So yeah, you should probably make sure you uh, figure that shit out. So if somebody took it, go hunt them down. I think they'll have an icon on them on the map screen in order to find them. Wait, we're fighting Sledge again? Yeah. They throw sledge at you first now. You butthole. I'll make sure you pay. You giant space butthole. Here we go. Sledge again. Version 3A. This improved model of the sledge utilizes three synapses to transfer high voltage to the energy blasters whose electromagnetic pulse can disrupt the combat visor. 
the synaptic fibers may be vulnerable to heavy duty weaponry. So, yep, the weakness of the high voltage weaponry is the heavy duty one, which apparently is the battle hammer. So, get your battle hammer ammo. By the way, this doesn't have a charge shot. So, you just hold the button, it'll just keep firing. Yeah, no charge. Oh yeah, and the slench is even more annoying now. 3B. Analysis indicates that although the shield is down, the improved exoskeleton on this model may allow it to charge at its prey. Yeah, this is when it gets shitty. Because, well, it'll still fire its high voltage blasts. But after a while, it'll be like, fuck you! And charge at you like that. Yeah, this is when the slench gets very annoying. In fact, it can start charging at you now when it's flying around. So keep moving. Just remember the strategy like you always do. Just get rid of his synapses and then fire at him. Yeah, you fire at him for a bit and then he moves. I hate when he continues to fire his bullets as he prepares to, as he prepares to charge. That's even more annoying. And well, as you may expect, it gets faster as the fight goes on. God damn it! You want to keep your distance when it does that. That's the best chance you have of avoiding its attacks. Just remember, if you're running low on ammo, you gotta let it get back to this state. So I can fire those, so you can collect them for your ammo back. I only say that, because I still prefer to use this ammo while I fight them. I just don't like to switch off what works, you know? I hate running away from this thing. So just do what you always do, and you should eventually prevail. He does not make it easy. You gotta, like, sidestep him the moment he charges. God, I hate the slinch so much. No! This thing does not make it easy to survive. Oh, you fucker! I'm almost out of ammo, you bastard. Oh, good, out of ammo. Lovely. Alright then. I'll kill you the good old fashioned way. Because I have the bullets to do it! My ammo's good enough to finish you, bitch. Watch this. And now, oh god, charge! There we go, fucking finally. Oh, oh god, it's blowing up again. Jesus, hey, you should be back on the wall. Oh, what an asshole. But yep, Slench starts charging. That makes the fight a good bit harder. Uh, Slash 3A and 3B can go fuck right off. And yeah, there's the other thing to note now. Every single planet has both a Cretaphid and a Slench. So next planet, you can probably guess what we're dealing with. I mean, either way, we're dealing with one of the two we've dealt with a lot already. So, yeah, it's not too exciting. The Cancer tried. The Cancer? Man, even the developed diseases, they couldn't kill this freaking thing. Jeez. Oh, well. At least they gave it a shot. Oh, by the way, this escape sequence sucks really bad. Eight and a half minutes. And, well, as usual, no portals. So you gotta escape even further. And, hey, remember, you can't fall down a pit or you'll have to fight the boss again. Maybe. They might throw... The checkpoint before and after you fight the boss, maybe. I don't know, but either way, do what you have to to get the fuck out of there. That's all I can tell you. Just remember you don't want the portals to take you back to your ship, because they cut them down every single time. The escape sequence begins. There's no power. So, yep. Just take shortcuts, even if it has to hurt you with those falls. Take shortcuts so you do not have to deal with this bullshit for long. 
Oh! Because, well, remember, oh no, power's cut off. What a shame. To those portals. The rest won't work. Don't worry about that. It's only the ones that lead to the ship that are cut off. Everything else is fine. No quadroids here. At least we got rid of all the enemies in this part, though. I think you know better than to throw a bunch of enemies at you in places where you already have to be worried about platforming. That's exactly how I feel. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. I figured I did, but still. I wanted to hope my words rang true, damn it. And by the way, I should mention. Oh, that's the easy way back. I should mention this as well. Any hunters that are on the planet and you don't run into before you uh, take down the boss, well, guess what? On your way out, chances are you'll run into them. And I think at that point, you will have to fight them off. Which, well, sucks. Ugh, it's worth mentioning. That's absolute hell. Let's take that shortcut the hell out of here. Just remember all the portals where you went. As long as you remember where all the portals are, you can actually figure this out pretty easily. Just keep yourself moving. No! Does the, count go, does the countdown go down? Nope. The countdown freezes when you go into a portal. Just use that as a little breather if you need to. Even if it only is for a couple of seconds. Take the time to breathe a little. See, look at that. I got out of that area in about two minutes. Not actually that bad. You still gotta escape the whole building, though. Still, if you get this far, it won't be that bad. Yeah, the latter game escape, escape sequences tend to be easier. So, well, I don't know if I'd say that, but this one is a little easier. Remember what I said about a bunch of guardians being around, though. You won't be able to leave some areas till you kill guardians, so... Get to work on that. Remember where the guardians are and kill them on sight. Well, just move through, find out where they are, and kill them so you can keep going backward or whatever. Now, let's get, keep going. Oh man. I had to make all the enemies tougher on my way out. Such a dick move on their part. Oh, God. Another one. Yep, there's two in here. Believe me, take it from me. They won't let you leave until you kill them. That's why your combat skills have to be better. Could you stop doing that? Yeah, it seems... To me, their favorite weapon seems to be the high-voltage one. That's like the one I run into the most frequently, them having the high-voltage weaponry. That's how I've always felt. They always have the one that screws up your vision. As far as I know, they don't never have the sniper on them, which, you know, I guess makes sense. Either way... Could you not hide from me, you stupid bitch? Jeez. What a frick. This is the right way, right? Please tell me I'm going the right way. Damn it. I knew it felt too familiar. No. Are you telling me if I go the wrong way, I have to kill them again? You've got me shitting me. No time to put up with this. Maybe you don't have to kill them, but they are in your way. I prefer to eliminate them so they're not still here. Because they do seal off some doors to make you kill enemies in order to advance. I think that's the main purpose of the Guardians. Basically stop you from being able to leave. Okay. Now what way do I want to go? Okay, now I want to go this way. That's the way out, right? Yes. Okay, so if you get lost, use the map. Like I said, these rooms are the worst because of their circular nature. Oh, this map is such a dick. Lester, in the back, I don't have time for you. You're the least of my problems right now. 
More guardians up ahead, huh? Don't mind me. Let's see you try to guard these nuts. See, you got still your basic power beam variety. That's right, just stand still in front of me, you assholes. Come on. There you are. If you're just gonna keep running around, I'm just gonna kill you. Die! Let me leave! Ah! Fucker. Ugh. Oh yeah, never mentioned the music for the uh, escape sequence picks up. So, you know. Yeah, it'll let you know you need to get the hell out of there. Make sure I go the right way. Yes, okay. We're almost out of out of dodge now. Oh god, come on, let me out, let me out, let me out. Yeah. Why did I say these were easier? I was very wrong. They throw more guardians at you on your way out, so you better make sure you know how to defeat them. Like really make sure you know how to defeat them. I have only that ammo left? Ten? Dicks, they're not even giving you an ammo refill. But don't forget, you getting on your ship is basically a free ammo and health refill. Oh god, they're in the next room again. Alright, last guardian battle before I get the hell out of here. I forgot to mention something interesting about the shock coil. I think in the multiplayer, the shock coil might actually uh, heal you. Or maybe that's only for Silux. I think that's an effect it has. It has a healing property thanks to uh, Silux being Silux. Yeah, see, now the escape music is getting more panicked. Come on, get me out, get me out, get me out. Please, please, please. Oh, thank God. I don't want to the ship. Screw you. Oh, yeah. That escape sequence is a lot of fun. Hey, now we have five Oculus. That's good. And I haven't lost a single one to those other damn hunters yet. Hopefully I'll never have to come back here now. Because, well, the two visits to each planet, we should be done with them. And while I don't plan on losing my Oculus anytime soon. Oh, is it Alinos right now? So that means they're all here or here. I just left! Well, the trace is there. I want to get that scan, damn it. I know it sounds like a complete waste of time, but I want that frickin' scan. I need it. It's for my collection. You must know how important these scans are to me. And so we meet here again. Fire. What makes you think that was gonna work? Remember what I said, don't die, or they'll take your octolith. So yeah, that's the only super consequence you have of dying. If you die on your own, it doesn't matter. If you die in a room where another hunter is, that's a problem. So yeah, I'll just show you the general process of going after the hunters, say you lost an octolith. You basically have to go back to the planet in areas where battles occur, like with the Guardians, for example. Go to those rooms, you should find the hunters. Like I said, they'll have an icon on the map screen back when you're selecting a world in order to indicate that they have your Octolith. I'm pretty sure you can't have multiple of them steal from you at once. That'd be awful. So yeah, you can beat all the bosses, but unless you track down the hunters to get them back, that is a complete waste of time. Yeah, they will be these different areas, though. I know that for a fact. Maybe like a waste of time, but more or less just want those trace scans so I can get it out of the way. Which I don't know why Trace seems to be my favorite. He just seems creepy. The others seem like legitimate aliens, as does he. Where others have like a some sort of like form or personality to him. He just seems, I guess. No, you don't really, but, you know, they have their own fighting style. Trace's just feels creepy, especially because the intro cutscene showed, like, them jump, 
climbing up to some giant pile like they're insects, like they're ants or something like that. Oh no, for some reason it always interested me. Sounds like one of them is here. Which one? Guardians! Oh, for fuck's sake. Get away from me, you stupid guardian. I don't care where you- Ow! Yeah, see? They seal off the doors. If you're trying to go somewhere, you have to kill them off. Hmm. You know, what about another one of the, uh, hunters would be in one of these rooms? This is the guardian music. You know the, uh, hunter music. You, every hunter has, like, somewhat their own theme. So you can eventually tell, and they all have the same start of the beep, or whatever the sound is they have, right before the battle starts. That's how you know you're dealing with one of the hunters. Oh, uh, wait. Did I go the right way? I just went one door over, okay. But yeah, this is a big reason why this game can be an annoyance to some people. Who likes having to backtrack constantly in order to hope that, well, they find the hunter that has their octolith that they got stolen from them. Oh, for... Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I don't like how when you fully charge a charge beam that the screen shakes violently. It makes it a little disorienting to make moves, you know? Okay. This might be the one I want. Ow! Oh! It's freaking Weevil! Screw you, Weevil! I was looking for the other one of you! Fuck you! Oh, man, what a waste of time! I got excited! For what? Uh, come on, where the hell is Trace? There's only one, one other possible room I can think of that he's in. Kinda doubt he's there, but I'll check anyway. Cause you never know, I guess. But yep, this is why backtracking this game sucks ass. Not only do you have to do it anyway, because you gotta revisit every planet. But tracking down these hunters can take some time. Basically your best case scenario, you can hope that whatever hunter you're going after is on a planet by themselves. Cause otherwise, it's a miserable hunt. Mm. Of course the one I wanted to find isn't here. And well, it goes to show that not the hunters aren't getting killed on these missions. They just end up getting beaten to the point of needing to retreat. Because, uh, yeah. I guess that's what they do. Is he in here now? Lucky me. Here's the warp you want to give a show up somewhere else. And we finally here's a scan for Trace. The scan indicates the exoskeleton of the hunter may not be as durable as it appears. This potential vulnerability may explain Trace's tactical preference for sniping. His weapon of choice, the Imperialist, is a long range quantum cascade laser with precision targeting. So yeah, he doesn't have crazy moves like the others. That's what his, that's what his alternate form is for. But he likes to hide and snipe. So there you go. I finally tracked it down, got that what I wanted, and we're good. Now let's get the hell out of here, shall we? The thing that sucks is I could have just gone to Alano's without having to deal with a single one of the hunters around. Now chances are that they're there. Because they never, they rarely show up on a planet you just left. Well, I guess it's not true because three of them did just show up there, so. Oh, damn, I wanted to launch, not exit. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get out of there. There we go. Now we're out. Yikes. Last time I come back here again, all I want to do is scan Trace, and I did. Maybe I should look at my logbook progress before the end of this episode, just so I know for my own benefit. So. There's no one there now. Oh, only Noxus is here. So that means three of them are there, two of them are there. Yeah. 
you may think about trying to go to another planet in order to do something if you see a lot of hunters there, but it's not going to help you. It really won't. Okay, so let's see. Alright, 80% of all the pickups. I know there's one I can't get for a good while. There's two left of that, and I know exactly three left. Oh, jeez. What could all three of those be? Oh, two weapons and something else. Okay. Let's see how the scans are going. Lore 37 first. Oh my god, there's still so much lore left! Wow! Bioform, 68%. Huh. Object, 70%. See, there's a lot of lore in this game. They're ridiculous with the lore. Then again, they cut it off into bite-sized pieces where the lore in the other Prime games is always a giant chunk full of a lot of info for you to take in. Oh, well, I'm going to end this episode here. I got exhausted going over those hunters. And, well, just going around Celestial Archives in itself is exhausting. So sorry for wasting time, but I really wanted that tray scan, damn it. Come back next time and we'll explore Alinos... Let's see where we can go to not only get power-ups, but hopefully get ourselves another beam weapon at least. Not only that, hopefully we can find ourselves those keys for the artifacts. And if I remember where Celestial Archive's second half had the pitfalls, I believe this part of Alinos' second half has crushing traps. And it tries to do a lot of them, if I'm not mistaken, in one area. But you guys will see that in a bit. See you guys next time back at this hot hell that is Alinos. God, I hate it when places burn my skin. I've been over that already, haven't I?